Now, this is really exciting. I am technologically hopeless, but I can now have a personal experience with the St Edward's crown that will be placed on the king's head. By just tapping this app, you will see a cushion appear, and then the St Edward's crown is placed almost like the Archbishop will put it on the king's head at the coronation itself. And then you can literally interact with it, as though you're inside the safe itself in the Tower of London. You can go in really close and see each of the jewels. And it's your interaction with an object that has been really the embodiment of the nation's story throughout history. And it was created in 1661 at the restoration of the crime for King Charles II. And so you'll literally be able to interact with what will be placed upon King Charles III's head. What's fascinating is that the Archbishop in 1937 didn't know which way round to put it onto George VI's head. Because in fact, as you go round it, you'll see how similar it is from every side. They came up with some very clever ways to do that. But I should imagine that with any luck, the Archbishop of Canterbury himself can have this close association with it, just like you, and you can literally have your moment with St Edward's crown. It will be the principal moment of the whole coronation when our king is crowned with this crown, but you get the chance to be with it in person yourself. Goodness, absolutely fantastic. And it's not just the crown, it has to be said. Alistair's here now. Hi, good morning. Hello there. Easy to do? I'm sorry? Easy to do? Um, no, because <laughs> I am completely incompetent at these let's, things. Let's have but a let's go. see if we can, we? Let's have if a go. You can do it. So then. you go to the app. It's actually built um, for uh, a phone, but I think it will work um, on an iPad if necessary, although not to the same technical level. So I need to tap on... When I go to the website, there we go, and then it says um, tap to place, and there you go. If you look on the screen behind me, coming up about now, and there it is. Amazing. There is the crown. Tell me about the crown. It was made in 1661 by Robert Viner for the restoration of the monarchy after Cromwell, and it was first Ooh. placed on Charles II's head. And so it's rather interesting that it will now be placed on Charles III's head. Mm -hmm. And but... you can, not on the iPad, as I said, but on your phone, you can get it to rotate and you go through all of the... Are they called chips? You can go round all the different parts of it. You can look at the arches close up. You can look at the, the jewels. Now, the jewels were finally placed there by only King George V. In the past, they used to leave it without jewels and they'd borrow some every time there was a coronation. Amazing. Now, um, how have we managed to put this app together? Well, I think it's the work of Atlantic Productions. Mm -hmm. I worked with them when we did a film and I had a conversation with Queen Elizabeth II about this crown. And she interacted with it for the first time since her coronation in 1953. It was quite sweet because she tapped it with her finger. And she asked, gosh, I wonder if it's as heavy as it was. And then she lifted it up. And it was quite interesting to see her holding this object with which she was crowned when she was aged just 26 in 1953. And it's not just the crown, is it, that you can do this with? No, the other objects, which are called the regalia, collectively, that will be used uh, for the coronation of the king uh, on the 6th of May. Um, OK. And this you can literally have this on your coffee table while you're watching your excellent commentary of <laughs> the coronation, which is a week on Saturday, of course. That's right. And... Uh, you can get up and walk around, not that you want to do that, but you've seen me doing it in that clip. And you can literally go to any side of it. And I was hinting at the fact that the Archbishop put it on the wrong way around for George mm. VI. And it's because the Archbishop had put a tiny piece of thread on the front. But when the cleaners came round just before the coronation, one of them saw it and took it off. And it's fascinating, if you look at the footage, you can see the Archbishop. And the King wrote in his diary, I never did know if they put it on the right way round or not. Well, it looked amazing whichever way it was. And this is what you can do. You can have literally the crown, and it's only ever used for a coronation. Correct. So the last time it was used was more than 70 years ago. That's right. Um, and you will see it happen again at about 11.30? No, it'll be just after 12 o'clock, Just after 12 o'clock, OK. But it's, uh, our coverage will start at 6 o'clock in the morning um, on the Saturday, and then just after midday, he will be crowned king. We can do the same with the crown for Camilla. In due course, I think they're doing some final filming on that, but it will be added to the collection, so that'll be fascinating to see. OK, so I just have to hold this as steady as I can on an iPad, but if you give it a go, 
give it a go on your um, phone. You go to the website. You can see actually the QR code there on your screen at the moment. I'm having to nod because if I let go of this, then it's going to be all over the place. I'm going to be really steady. Uh, get your phone. Take it to the QR code, have a go, and literally you just follow it through. It's just so easy um, to do. And as I said, while you're having your Pringles and your small shandy, uh, listening to Alistair's um, <laughs> coverage, then you can literally have the crown jewels on your coffee table at home at the same time. How cool is that? Very much looking forward to seeing you a week on Saturday. It'll be great, be fantastic. In fact, everybody will know when the crown is put on the king's head. Because according to a lovely book that was written for Richard II, the moment that happens, the guns of the Tower of London, and in fact at Edinburgh Castle and other places around the country, will be shot off and they'll fire the guns and everybody will know it's happened. And there we go. Um, oh, they're also watching Sky News and, indeed, they'll also know. Uh, under those circumstances, I'll see you then. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks a lot.